Generic greetings and welcome back to Prison Architect once again. This is version 1.0. Yes, finally, finally, after three years of early access stroke alpha development, whatever you would like to call it, the game is finally out and I was going to say done, but that's not true because there's already plans for updates and they are calling it 1.0. So obviously we're going to get 1.1, 1.2. This will pretty much continue on, I guess. Well, one would assume not for another three years, but you never know. Either way, it is technically out sort of thing-ish because games are never really fully done these days, are they? So, it looks like it's been released with a fair bit of fanfare, a lot of people playing it. As of the time recording, there's loads of people streaming it, loads of people doing videos. I've, you know, been known to do one or two Prison Architect videos, so I thought I would take the opportunity to show you some of the new features in a couple, uh, in a sort of a little bit of a mini-series. Uh, we're going to be doing a couple of different things. We're not going to be building a prison just yet, obviously known for the construction series where we build a prison and obviously take comments, things like that. I'm not going to be doing that. What I'm going to be doing is showing you the new features so the campaign which is a five mission campaign the first mission actually is actually death row which is the first ever thing that you normally experience in prison architect but i'm going to be doing that and going through to do the first five campaign missions and i've never played these as you can see i've only got the first one unlocked so it's all gonna be new to me uh, at least the campaign is anyway obviously all the building and stuff i'm fairly familiar with uh, there's also cutscenes as well but that's just as you progress through the campaign there's also an extra option where you can go to escape mode and you can select any one of the prisons that you have um have made, for example, there's my uh, Alpha 36 episode 13, the last episode, prison, there we go, and you know, I can actually load that, and I'll become a prison in that, uh, prisoner in that, and I have to escape from my own prison, obviously it'll have all the patrols set up and things like that, so if you've built the prison, which generally you have, because well, no, I guess you could download it from Steam Workshop, but if you've built the prison, then you generally know where all of the good and bad bits are, and you can walk around as a prisoner, you can attack things, you can steal things, you can hide contraband, you can make like a sort of gang that'll follow you around, you can get traced, you can dig tunnels basically it's like the escape but in a massive editor first where you make the prison then you escape from it so that's cool anyway as I said going to go through the campaign missions basically doing one every video the the overall objective is so I guess we'll crack on death row here we go so death row we've been contracted to build an execution chamber at this prison in time for the scheduled execution of one of our inmates let's play boom intervision software it has actually been probably two and a half years since I've seen this this is exactly like the first one. In fact, I remember my intro. Generic greetings. And welcome to prison. Hi, an architect! Something like that or other. Yes, this is this is exactly as we experienced it. Look at that. Yeah. This is actually this is actually close to a nostalgia video now. Good grief. <laughs> anyway, like I said, it is just the very first mission, so a lot of the stuff that it'll be telling us to do will be already familiar. We'll already be familiar with, so. Um, like I say, I just have to go through it because that's just part of the process. I always like this bit of music. Sweet. Foreman, Chiefs, Warden's Office. I'm actually looking to see if, um, to see if there's like bits missing. I assume they've went back through and made sure it all works. At least the, the van is different. There you go, they're loading that on. Ah, here we are. So this is our story. And... Prison hyphen architect. Cool. So we're going to get a call from the warden, if I remember rightly. Uh, they're not the warden, the uh, the governor. Is that right? Yeah, the governor. Oh, CEO. Ah, God. Close enough. CEO. So the incoming call. Let's have a quick answer. The CEO. This is a tough one, okay? There's a prisoner incarcerated at this facility who's been convicted of a double murder and sentenced to death. Okay, that's not great. That's where we come in. We've been contracted to construct an execution chamber in time for the guy's big day. Which is... Over down this side here, I guess. There we go. This is where this is where I want the new facility to be built. The first step with any project like this is to construct the building itself with enough space inside to fit an execution room and a holding cell. So let's get started. Construct a building here. Okay, it will also need to an entrance to the new execution facility. Uh, build a large deal door onto the south wall. So, okay, so easy. Let's go to building brick. Uh, clicky, clicky, draggy, draggy. Yeah, as I said, it's uh, basically a tutorial list, but we know what we're doing. Let's just click that there, and there's that all done. Incoming call again, so we've accepted that. Is it going to scroll down? It goes, your workmen are responsible for the construction of buildings. Thank you very much. They collect steel and concrete from this storeroom and take it to construction site. Good, good, good. They'll use these raw materials to build the foundations and framework of your new building. This is the slowest part of construction, so you should plan ahead when building new facilities. While we wait, take a look around. Use WSD to move around. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. We've already figured that out. So let's have a quick look at this place. So it's uh, 
as the very first thing we normally uh, see, so we've got a power station over this side with some capacitors there, but that power station actually doesn't have, as far as I can tell, any maximum power grid on it, which is a bit interesting. So maybe that's only... Maybe that's only for this tutorial. Uh, let's have a quick look. 2,877 generic units of currency coming in per day. Uh, we've got 51 prisoners maximum capacity, which is okay, because this is actually a small map, so that's quite good. Is it a small map? should be 80 across. Let's have a quick look. So we'll go to planning walls, then we'll go all the way down. It. Thanks, guy. Uh, inside the building, I want to sell in an execution room. Uh, partition. Oh, God. Alpha game is still, still alpha, because you can hear I've still got the planning tool open. Oh, God. Uh... <laughs> Petition this space by constructing some brick walls. Uh huh. Hang on. There we go. Hang on. Hang on, Derek. Hang on. We've just right. I've just ordered all them guards over there. Uh, what size map is this? It is a eighty. Yeah. So it's a small map. Anyway, we'll close that off. So we need to petition uh, partition this space off. So brick wall all the way along. Brick wall there. Brick wall there. Brick wall there. Job done. That was quite simple and easy. And we'll have a quick look down the bottom. So that's storage. I don't know why there's uh, like a big. There's a big clump of storage there, then there's a little storage there, it's interesting. Over here we've got slightly bigger cells, these obviously will be slightly higher grading, but it won't, it doesn't tell us the grading. Um, let's have a quick look, we've got guards stationed right there, if I go to patrol, oh, I don't have patrol because I need bureaucracy unlocked, if I go to uh, bureaucracy, can I unlock anything? I guess I could, but if I start doing that, I, oh, no, I've got six, I've got loads of money, look, I've got loads of money, let's, um, let's actually unlock, do we have a finance? Yeah, we do. We do have finance. We're going to unlock that, and then we'll unlock um, uh, legal. Why not? <clears throat> there we go. Cool. So we're going to speed up to max speed. That's probably going to be a thing later on anyway to say that uh, we need to unlock legal. Right, so there's the internal walls done. So that's the to-do list easily done there. And see you are Now add large jail doors to the dividing walls. You can rotate an object before placement by clicking it. Okay, thank you very much. Rotate. So put one there and put one there. That was simple enough. Sweet. Oh, at least this tutorial's uh, letting us know how things uh, how things have to be done. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I mean, I can remember going through this before and uh, actually going, wow, is, this, is that how you do things? And then, to be honest with you, uh, why is there some trees there? <laughs> There's some trees planted there. That's interesting. Yeah. As I said, when I first did this, I was like, oh, is that how, is that how you do it? And the, the, running through this tutorial was very easy. I just didn't really know what to do afterwards. Uh, such a long time ago. Who's this guy? I oh, don't know. It's popping up again. See, yo, that looks good. Now we need to design some rooms with those. The rooms. Desi designate uh, a cell in the smaller area with our condensed mate. Then designate the execution room in larger areas. So we need to go for a cell. That's going to be an unit of cell. This is going to be one unit of workshop. There we go. That's job done. And you can even hear the humming inside that as well. Uh, those new rooms have requirements before they become functional. The cell needs a bed and a toilet. The execution room needs an electric chair. And it also needs, I believe, more than just an electric chair these days. There's an electric chair. We're going to put the bed in there. And then the toilet we'll put in that side there as well. Job done. And we'll speed that. No, it won't speed up. We'll just let the workmen go on and do their thing. Yeah, like I said, I remember actually doing this. And then after after completing it, I think I mentioned this a couple of times. After completing it, I tried to play the game. And I just couldn't. I was just absolutely terrible at the game. I'm, like, I'm still terrible. Now you understand. But um, I'm less terrible these days. And after, you know, 300 odd videos, uh, you're going to be less terrible at something. If you, you know, constantly bang your head against a brick wall. Eventually, you know, you're going to, uh, you know, something's going to stick there. <clears throat> if not just, you know, a, a sort of permanent... Uh, chronic concussion. So uh, yeah, <laughs> I remember playing that and then uh, a friend just went, oh look, I'll show you how to do it and then basically showed me how to make a, a, a prison that was fairly small. It was basically like that size there and then it was like, yeah, that works now and then you just extrapolate it on and then uh, then we did the first video. So yeah. Anyway, uh, there's Adam Codwell and there's uh, Peter uh, Leeshin, which is volatile. There you go. It's like grizzled. Uh, oh, and balding as well. Grizzled and balding. Are they going to get on with that execution room? Yeah, they are getting on with that there. Fairly big yard with some picnic tables in there. I did mind picnic tables. I mean tables and benches, but yeah, picnic tables. Uh, we could, if we want to, do all sorts. We could start laying uh, big floors everywhere as well. Uh, so build an electric chair. We are building an electric chair. Come on. And remember, you normally have to put uh, some some benches and whatnot in here. Not not benches. You need to put tables in there. Now it'll ask us to connect it up to the uh, the grid. There's the CEO calling again. Uh, that's the essentials taken care of, but there are still a few, a few improvements you can make. Okay, it's up to you, though. These aren't strictly required. Depends how much you care about your prisoners and their environment. So there's the cell. I like the zoom in. That's pretty good. The cell itself should be improved with an outward-facing window and a small bookshelf. Okay, and the execution room floor. 
flooring. The facility would look better with a higher quality floor material like wooden floorboards or mosaic tiles and then obviously they want to put some flooring outside. You can add some lighting and a paved pathway if you think you'd also need it. Fine, fine, fine. And then, ooh, oh look, there's the priest. This is the man in question, Edward Romsey, a teacher once, would you believe? It is not our place to decide if he deserves this. The law has made that decision. We are here to do a job. Once you are satisfied, the facility is ready, you can begin the prisoner transfer to his new cell. Simply click on the Polaroid in his cell to initiate the transfer. Okay. We will do that once we've done everything else. So I think we will actually improve this so we can go to materials and I think we'll go for the old wooden floor. I like the idea of wooden floor in there. That's fine. Uh, we're going to put some paving stones on the outside. We'll run it down to there. Run a straight path along to that bit. Actually, I can for some reason put a paving stone there. Oh yeah, we can. That's okay. That's fine. We'll put a paving stone along to there. There we go. That's all connected up. And then we need to go to some objects. We can put some lights on the outside if we really want to. A window facing outwards and then a bookshelf in that corner there. So we've actually got everything that it's uh, sort of requested us to do. Apart from, I noticed that we um, haven't yet got the logistics open. So we can't actually put the, <laughs> the electric cable into the chair, which is an interesting one. Let's have a quick look. Looks like the, it's yard time now. I don't have access as far as I can tell. No, it's, it's gone. Don't have access to the reports, so I can't actually change the regime on this one. Interesting. So we're doing all of this here. This is all the option stuff. We'll speed up to max speed. And then... There we go. There's that done. Putting the window in. And then they're going to put the... Where is it? Where is it? I'm waiting for my bookshelf. There's the bookshelf there that's put in. Right, so everything's done. Let's just go down to here and we'll click on the Polaroid. Okay, the chief. The chief. Right. Oh. Looks like he's not having a chat. He's just taking him now. So, ah, there we are. There's our Polaroid. Looks like. Uh, don't shed one tea for this guy. He's a stone cold kill killer. Guilty as charged. He even confessed. Want to hear his description of what he did? It's juicy stuff. It was around 11 p.m. The lights were already on. I knew she was home. Wow, I haven't seen this in a long time. <laughs> so, there he is. Walking up at a quite nice home. I mean, look at all the big trees and stuff. We got these double doors. What's that? A big plasma television. And, oh, new stuff. Look at all that. New stuff. Looks like knives on the kitchen. Big box there. Oh, oh dear, oh dear. There we go. Got a cheating wife, and then he comes in with a gun. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming he's supposed to look like Heisenberg. I knew I'd catch you two here. Uh, Edward, I said the wife. Uh, don't, just don't. Edward's wife, Susan, apparently. She actually got a name now. What are you going to do? Um, well, looks like he's pulling the gun out, and... Oh, one's gone. And then... Well, they're definitely dead. Yep. I think that is the case. Looks like we've got a phone model in there as well. I get distracted easily. That's actually a like bedside cabinet and a wardrobe and stuff. All this is new. So it looks like he's dropped the gun on the floor. Just staring at these two. Hmm. That does look Heisenbergish. <laughs> um, right. So I guess that is the bath there as well. I guess that's a case of well, job done, I guess. That, that's what he's done. He's confessed. Uh, clear as day, if you ask me, deserves every vault he's going to get. All men deserve forgiveness, even him. Are you sure uh, in yourself that you uh, can deal out such a final judgment? Catching your wife with another man is no excuse for what he did. <clears throat> and there will be le And he went there with a loaded gun, knowing he'd find them together. That's double premeditated murder, is it now? Okay. He's done nothing but cooperate with the authorities. This state is making an example of him. If he'd committed a crime a hundred miles north, he'd be looking at life imprisonment instead. How is that justice? Do you want a guy like this running free? I'll sleep just fine at night when I know he's gone. Hmm. This is one of the things that we always uh, have a natter about when we uh, do the videos and we always do the, not always do, but when we do the um, <clears throat> the execution stuff is like, you know, it's always a case of, is this is this warranted, etc.? It's uh, questionable at best. Uh, good work so far, says the CEO. No problem. I, I can, I mean, I, I'll be honest, I've done this before, mate. I, I, I've, I've definitely 
definitely designated a room. Uh, however, there is one problem. The execution room isn't functioning yet. I know I, I pretty much pointed this out to the builders earlier. They just said, nah, it's all right. Gov will be fine. Anyway, it doesn't have any power. We need to connect it to the electrical supply. So here we go. We're now in the electrical supply and it still lags out for some reason. Uh, so we can actually connect the thing. Now I'm reviewing the uh, thing in utilities mode. Each building, the prison connector, the power grid by blah, 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 blah. Ah, now we have a level. There you go. This is the power pro provided by the prison substation, which draws electric words electricity from the national grid good grief can't even speak right so all this is powered off as you can see the entire wing of this prison cells without power all of lights are out to fix this problem we need first to uh, switch utilities mode and understand why the lights are without power so that's because the cable doesn't go that far so we need to sort that out so we could just skip that if we really want I could skip all of this but I'm, I'm actually interested in going through it just to see you know how it works we're gonna move that up to there and that should do it quite nicely speed up to max speed they're all gonna go for eat and have a nice bit of food, bit of chow there. I like the fact that it's a very self-contained prison, although it's quite large and the capacity is okay. It doesn't have a lot of all of it doesn't have a lot of the amenities you, we would normally have, but um, it works, which is the main thing, isn't it? You know, it shows you that you can make a, a very basic prison. There's all them connected up, so uh, we will put that to normal speed. See you again. So it's going to go down there. Execution room. Lights aren't the only thing that needs power. Your new electric chair does too. Use the power cables to connect the execution facility to the power grid. Okay, we can easily do that. We'll just clicky, clicky, draggy, draggy. Electric chair itself is a special type of electric item. It requires its own dedicated power line. You need to connect it up directly. So we can do that. You've got utilities mode. We'll go to electrical grid. And then we can... Where's the nearest supply? It's down the bottom there. So I'm just going to drag the electrical supply like... um, Not like that. We'll go, I think, from there all the way down to there. Although it looks like it can't connect it up to the inside of that for some reason. We're just going to do that. I'm guessing there's been a... <clears throat> where I can't d d bulldoze this. No, look. As you can see, it looks like all of these have been disabled. So I can't start bulldozing other stuff. That's, uh, I guess, on purpose. So you don't break the tutorial. Because otherwise, you, can you could just break it, couldn't you? You could just mess it up completely if you really, really, really wanted to. Okay. So they're going to crack on with that. Quite easy there. And that's pretty much done. So back to normal speed. And then the CEO is probably going to call again. Yes, yes, yes. Why doesn't he just get down, you know, stop pen pushing, stop his bureaucratic messing about, and just come down here and order it himself? If he likes to micromanage, which is what he's doing, he should get it done himself. The CEO, we're almost done, I think. We should get the te test the new room. So, going to turn on for a few seconds, and then what's going to happen is it's going to break the electrical grid. I'm pretty sure I mentioned this earlier, and it's going to go bang. There you go, we've now just turned the entire prison off. Oh dear, oh dear. So, <clears throat> well, that didn't work. Looks like we draw too much power and tripped a circuit breaker in the power station. The whole prison is dark. We're going to need more juice to be able to handle the power spike that that electric chair generates. So, we're going to zip down and then... It's going to go blah, 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 skip that. You know what? We know what he's wanting us to do now. We're going to start putting capacitors in. One, two, three. Job done. Speed up to max speed. I think we've got past the point where um, we're not... We're, I mean, we're, never, we're never, never going to learn anything new from this, but um, at the moment we are just on the... We're just going through the motions, you know. It's good to see the story bit, but um, I, all the rest of it, I'm, I know how to place capacitor. But it's good to see that the tutorial actually does function like it should do. So there's all that on. We need to switch on... All of these other capacitors here. And, oh, do we? Looks like it's not doing it anyway. Test it on. Uh, let's switch on. There we go. That's now on. And then test the electric chair. We'll click on that one. And then switch on. And it looks like that works. We didn't blow the grid up. Fantastic. See you. Well done. I believe we are finished with this job. That uh, What happens now is out of our hands. We did a professional job, and that's important in our business. Try not to worry about what happens next. Um... Well, I guess here we go. So, looks like there's the priest there. One that's been uh, talking to the chief, saying, you know, do you think this is warranted? It is actually a chapel. That. Oh, he hasn't got it designated as chapel either, which is uh, quite bad. Looks like he's stumbling in as well. I do like the Polaroids. Quite good. Just enough to uh, give you a little bit more than... Uh, the base game. The priest. Can I help you? I thought I was going to say my child. Edward. Mm, nothing. Are you looking for forgiveness? I don't know. I have to do something. I can't live with the things I've done. 
You have to turn yourself in. Whatever you've done, you cannot evade the consequences. You will never be able to live with yourself until you f uh, face up to your past. I want to go back. I want to forgive her. I want her to forgive me. God will forgive you no matter what you have done if you ask him to. But you must answer if, uh, for your crimes in the eyes of the law. There is no other way, apparently. So there we go. It is time, Edward. You have done the right thing, even though this world will not forgive you for it. You will be with God soon, and he will have the final judgment on you. Imagine that, though. Imagine you get there, and he's like, Oh, you, you were a dick. You shouldn't have shot her. That was, that was, that was over the top, Edward. You, you should have just ran away, mate. But now, you're mine. And uh, imagine that. That would suck, right? Anyway, going to move on. Up to the top, into execution room, we've got uh, generic uh, dark music, foreboding music. Can we scroll around? No, we can't scroll around, that's a shame. I'm not going to skip this, and we look at that new Polaroid, and they have the electric chair there. It's all dark. Oh, 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 well, look at that Polaroid. That Polaroid shows concrete floor, and um, a standard, standard wooden door, I believe. I've got uh, a wooden floor, and uh, a metal double door. Ooh, mark against IVR team there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's that term? Nitpicky? Yeah, I think so. I'm just messing. Anyway, trying to make light of the fact that this guy's about to be killed. So, I thought they would uh, wet his head or whatever and put the thing over. Ah, oh, he's got a mask on as well. Hmm. I mean, he does have the eyes of a stone cold killer. Edward Romsey, you have been found guilty of two counts of murder in the first degree. The penalty is death. Do you have anything to say? Dispatcho soup. Then he's dead. Uh, Susan. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Apparently. And gone. Dispatcho. And that's it. It's a bit. It's a bit of a weird. Um, Intro, isn't it? Like, that's the first thing you ever play. I could easily see that putting people off, actually. Going, right, is that is that what I do every time I play this? Like, if you've never played it before, do I do I kill people every time I play this game? Uh, no, no you don't. But, um, yeah, that's the very first uh, mission there. So, chapter two. I think we will... Oh, God. You can... That doesn't sound good at all, does it? Um, that's flame. Oh my good grief. Um, so, the CEO, there is a crisis brewing at one of our other facilities. No shit. <laughs> um, I think we're going to leave it there. This is going to be the next mission and the next episode of this thing. As always, comments in the comments. Uh, next episode, we will hopefully put this fire out. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.